E is equal to mc square which means energy is a product of mass and square of speed of light is one of the world's most famous equation. Einstein introduced his revolutionary equation in 1905 and most of us were introduced to it in our high school. But have you ever wondered what actually this equation means? How much power this equation has and how is it related to anyone on earth? Today, we are going to answer all of these questions. E is equal to mc square or mass energy equivalence equation is more than just a product of mass and a constant. The formula was a result of Einstein's special theory of relativity which meant that time is relative with respect to the observer. The equation creates a bridge between energy and mass explaining how mass can be converted into energy or vice versa. Before E is equal to mc square, scientists used to relate matter with two properties. How much mass it has and how much impact could it exert on its environment. They used to think that a ball in rest has the same mass as compared to the ball moving at 100 miles per hour. The main difference between the two was that the speeding ball has more energy than the resting one which had no energy. But after Einstein's discovery, they realized that their theory had a major flaw. Scientists came to know that mass and energy are the same basic stuff. What makes them appear different is the form in which they are packed. Just like a block of ice can be melted into water, the same way mass is a frozen form of energy and can be converted by mass energy equation. This means that even a body with very little mass could yield a huge amount of energy as its mass will be multiplied with the constant c square, which is square of the speed of the light and has a value of 90 quadrillions. The power of this equation was shown to the world in 1945 when US dropped the atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki that released energy equal to 36 kilotons of TNT. Even your weekly magazine has more than enough mass that can be converted into energy to power a city for a whole month. But the problem is that converting each and every atom into pure energy is impractical as it would require temperatures and pressures greater than those at the core of the sun. You'll be surprised to know that Einstein never mentioned E is equal to mc square in his research. Instead, he emphasized on creating mass from energy and gave the relation m is equal to E upon c square. This energy to mass concept is used in particle accelerators where we smash a photon and an electron with very high energy to generate a photon, electron and a pair of matter and antimatter particles. That's how scientists search for new unstable high energy particles like the Higgs boson or the top quark by converting pure energy into mass. The mass which is obtained can be calculated by dividing the energy by c square. This simple two variable equation controls each and every aspect of our daily life. From every action done by our body to the anchor point of our solar system. From our handy smartphone to our gasoline hungry car. From our body's energy source to the energy that run our appliances. E is equal to mc square is everywhere. It's the reason behind everything happening around us and in our world. Each and every action of your body rely on chemical reactions between the brain and the muscles that are further dependent on the conversion between mass and energy. The anchor point of our solar system also known as the sun shines because of the nuclear fission that is occurring between the protons which is a perfect example of mass getting converted into energy. When you are using your smartphone E is equal to mc square is at work as the battery is draining itself by converting some of its mass into energy. That's the reason why you are able to watch our videos. Your car which makes long distances shorter burn gasoline to produce energy in the form of motion. Here gasoline mass gets converted into energy. In the morning when you were having the most important meal of your day, again the equation was at work, which was converting your food into the energy to keep you active for the entire day. The uranium and plutonium atoms that are bombarded in the nuclear reactor are again converting mass into electrical energy which provides life to most of our appliances. That's how Einstein's famous equation is related to our daily life. And that's why we should thank him for explaining the science behind the mass and energy, which was the result of theory of special relativity. Just imagine if 1 kg of mass can produce a whopping 9 into 10 raised to the power 16 joules of energy, which is equivalent to 21 megatons of TNT, then think how much energy is there inside each of us. So we would like you to use that energy to like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment down to suggest a topic. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook.